Hello everyone and welcome to the Greek channel. I am Kostis and today I have with me Justin and Yuri, aka Eurovision experts. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, experts. Experts. <laughs> yes, you can pronounce it in the way you want. Yeah, you're yeah that, that's how I read it in my mind whenever I read it. it you are the expert for me. Actually, we always discuss like how do we pronounce it? And Justin came up with ESC expert, so we still have ah, okay. that, that sounds better to pronounce the name, yes. <laughs> Great. And you guys have are also a new channel like us. You started this year, right? Yeah, actually we started like last year with Junior Eurovision. Ah, okay. But that was more of a tryout. Yeah, we're just trying out things. And this time with the Eurovision Song Contest, we're really going for it. Yes. Nice, nice. And have you heard all of the songs? Of course. Yes. yes. Nice. Oh, by the way, for the people watching, um, I will have the link for um, for the ESC Experts uh, channel down in the description. Uh, great. Okay, you've heard all of the songs. Should we start with semifinals or with uh, fun questions? What do you prefer? Oh, I love fun questions. Great. Let's do that then. You decided, yes. no? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, which song for you, for each one of you, I guess you might have different answers, uh, had the best national performance? Ooh, you can uh, start. National final performance. I have to think. The best? I think for me, that is going to be Norway. Okay. Yeah, I think I was really impressed with it and I was really feeling the song too. Yes, yes, it's Norway for me. Thanks. So you mean, you mean the winner, right? Yes, yes, from the, the people who won and they are in the contest. Then for me this year, it's definitely Spain. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say I that. I was scared that he would say Spain. <laughs> no, but it was great. Her voice and the staging. It was like I that know. could be the Eurovision performance already for me. So that's why, that, that's why it is great. It's my favorite uh, national performance of this year. Yeah, I agree with you. For me, it's Spain as well. It was like, whoa. Yeah. Okay, who has for you the most impactful voice like it's the voice that you hear and you get the shivers you know sometimes this is a difficult one Ooh, i find that one difficult too um i think that is going to be spain for me but the original answer maybe but um especially with like the ea ea the um, just the combination of the words and her voice really yeah mm -hmm. it's so impressive really Oh, I think, I think I will say Loreen. Okay. Because every time I listen to it, it's so powerful. And it's like she's, she was playbacking life, but in a good way. Like it, it, it sounds so solid. And I, every time I listen to her, I cannot imagine that that's her real voice. Yeah. So that's why I would say, yeah, I think Loreen's voice is, wow. It's like. Okay. That's. Great. That's interesting and controversial. So, because there are many people <laughs> who say <laughs> we are controversial, at least I. Am. <laughs> but tell me yeah. why? Uh, because there are many people who say I. I personally agree with you. I love Lauren's voice. Uh, uh, but my answer would be uh, Spain, like Justin's. Um, but yeah, there are many people who say that Lauren sounded very shouty, like mm -hmm. in, in the final, like she was shouting a lot. And okay. Yeah. Yes, I think that is kind of the that is Doreen's vibe anyway. No, it, it sh I wouldn't call it shouting anyway, but yeah. I understand why people say it, but that is Doreen, isn't she? Is yeah. Mm. I agree. And I think it was like for for the impact for, for the emotion, you know, like that's yeah. why yes, I yes, and, and it fits the song, you know. Yes. So mm -hmm. in a way, I, I also agree with that it was shouting, but there are also okay. I don't I don't have another example right now, but there are also people who shout, and it's like, oh, oh my god, what is this? But yeah. No, Loreen, she had a good voice, and mm. uh, she didn't sing. Uh, how do you say it in English? For, uh, like off record know. or uh, no? So it it was all everything was good. So even if she shouted, you mean off key? Off key, yes. indeed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but no, for me, it was just very good, like the performance. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, question number three. Who had the best outfit at the national final performance? Ooh. National final performance. Uh, I know mine. I know mine too. Is it going to be the same answer? I think so. Should we try? Yes. Three, two, one. Finland. Belgium. Okay, <laughs> no, it was not the same. <laughs> Who did you say, Justin? Finland. Finland, okay. Okay, I'm with Yuri again in that one. Belgium, I love his outfit. <laughs> We're always like agreeing 50%, like with one of us, yeah. he's always agreeing. We actually attended the national final of Belgium too. We were there and we met Gustav and he looked amazing with his outfit and he was so, so nice too. So I can kind of, I, I do agree with you guys also a little bit. Of course. So, and so. I have to say, um, to be honest, it's not my favorite outfit, just the outfit itself. Yeah. But I love the way he's in love with the outfit yes. and he wore it like... It was yeah. his, and he was so proud of his song and the outfit. And still right now, everything that I see, I just feel that he owns it. And that's why I'm I'm just with, with Gustav on this one. I know. I love Gustav. I'm so yes. jealous that you met him. He looks such a nice, like such a nice person. Yeah, I was. think he is. He yeah, was. he was. And I think he, he will be in Liverpool. Also. I think everyone will fall in love with him. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. I agree. And I think it's kind of underrated as a song yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. uh by the way since you said that have you been to other national final performances no we have been to the reveal of the netherlands it was not a national final of course but there was just a small gathering with yes. um tv um channel okay. and other media but unfortunately this year no we didn't uh, manage to go uh somewhere okay. else uh, how, you... how about you yeah no i've never been to I've never like I'm very I'm a very house person, so I like to watch everything on my TV. <laughs> That's my comfort. Space. That's also cozy. Yeah, I love course. that yeah. vibe. Just sitting on your sofa and watching. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing up by myself <laughs> and just watching TV. I think some drinks and hangover the, the next day, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, question number four: Who is the hottest for you this year? <laughs> okay, I know mine. I don't have to think about that. Okay, go <laughs> for it. Don't say it already. For me, it's Cyprus. Okay, Cyprus. Yes. Oh wait! Oh my God! I forgot one. Oh. Okay, the hardest is Cyprus, but I have to say, I don't like his clothing. I know. That's okay. What we said. We said that in the reaction. Like, why? Oh, I will why? listen to your reaction because I'm very, very curious, actually. But what, can you explain it briefly? Like, why don't you like the outfit? Uh, because it seems like... So, I don't know if you have an idea of a, like, classic Greek person, you know, like Greek straight person. It's the, it's the outfit that they would wear, you know? It's like... That's yeah. why I don't like it because I, it like triggers me a little bit when it. <laughs> when it <is> that. <laughs> but that's what I wanted to say. Like uh, I don't know, uh, like specifically Greek straights, uh, how they uh, clothe themselves. Yeah. But um, that's how they do it. Yeah, but this is like I would say a, a straight outfit. It was not, and uh, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it. Of course, don't understand me <laughs> in the wrong way. But also in the video clip, it was like. What was he wearing? It was not representing him. And no. that's what Gustav did very well. And um, yes. I agree. I agree. Oh. Gustav wore something that he felt comfortable in. Yeah. Yes. It, it was yeah. him. Andrew wore something that uh, if you go to like the shopping center in Greece, all of the shops will have these clothes there. Indeed. You know? yeah. I see. Yeah. I, I loved his earring, by the way. His earring. I remember he has an earring like hanging, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, like you, but it, it was just uh, smaller and uh, it, it was not as yeah, as, not um, as colorful. <laughs> it was not a parrot. <laughs> he is hot though. That, like we said that in the video as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he too. Can't deny uh, that. Yeah, but in, yeah, for me, I think I would say Marco Mangoni. Oh yes, good choice too. Yes, I. He's so hot. He's beautiful. Yeah. And he's hot in another way than Andrew because Andrew is like the hot guy, the classic hot guy that you see and you're like, hmm, come here. 
But Marco <laughs> is like, he has a kindness about him. And that's for me, that is hotter, you know, I'm like more. I know what you mean, I think, yeah. yeah. He's also very, um, like beautiful in a natural way, right? He's yeah. Very, very yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way he, yeah, he interacts. He takes care of himself. Yeah. Yeah, he does, definitely. Okay, okay. Uh, question number five. For you, personally, which one is the most memorable song? My most memorable song is going to be uh, Evidemment from La Zara. Mm. Um, I absolutely love it. And I just think that like um, kind of kind of beat drop and like the Evidemment just sticks so much in my head and I'm in love with it. I'm really in love with it. So I would really say France. Yeah. Okay. Difficult question, but I, I, I think there are several memorable songs this year, but I think I would say UK, United Kingdom. Oh, yeah. That's because cool. there is this, it's very repetitive, actually. The song yeah. is quite standard, like it's very boring in a kind of way. I love the UK entry. Um, it's very brief. <laughs> it's very boring. I love the UK entry. <laughs> no, like like boring in a way. It, it's it's very uh, like it it, it, it starts with a. Um, uh, it's Brit pop, like it's a classic British pop song. Yeah, in, in yes, yes. It's, it's not a it's not a journey or something, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah. But well, it, but it works. It works. It works, so. and it's memorable. Yeah, I like that. Okay. But she has to improve her singing skills. So. Um, I've heard, yeah, I've heard a video of your live performance, but I also heard that she was sick, so... Yeah, I've heard something uh, like Let's that. give her another chance, we'll see. And she has a month to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> a lot can happen in a month, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, the question number six, which one is the most memorable music video for you? Ooh, good questions you have. Very I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> for me it's either um france mm -hmm. or israel oh yes definitely but i think i would go with france because it's it's the same thing the whole time you know it's yes. her standing in the studio with the lights and it works for the music like it's mm. great it's not the most beautiful video clip or most special one for me but it's memorable like Okay. Like, uh, draw it right now without looking at it, I think. And we'll do a good job. Not my drawing, maybe, but the, me memorizing the, the background. Okay. For me, it's going to be Armenia. I, mm. um, I really, really love the video clip. And also, the story that she wants to tell is, like, very clear in the video clip. I love the orchestra in it. I love the moment that she's kind of floating like in the air yes that's Maybe a beautiful I mean, yeah. moment i agree i hope she floats on in <laughs> on stage oh my god that would be so cool what do you hope that she's gonna float on on stage yeah on stage. i don't know because they're second in the second semi-final yes so like i would expect if they would do something big like this that they would be either one of the last countries like last year with Snap, of course, it was also last in the semi-final and then they could build yeah. this, uh, staging. Or maybe it would be somewhere in between when there is a break. But I don't know, maybe it's quite easy to lift someone. I, I'm not sure. but I, I, I have know. no idea. But they will have to figure it out because um, even if she was last and they were staging it like that, may, but then they wouldn't know what would be the placement in the finals. So yeah, what would they true. do? They would change their staging? No, they, no, but I they think just with, have to find the solution. Yeah, th yeah, that's true. But I think with Snap, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, when uh, when she qualified for the final, she was eighth or something or ninth. And then before Snap, there was this kind of small break with a host. Oh, maybe. And they could build the, the stage yeah. quickly yeah. and then it was Armenia. Yeah. Which makes sense. So, yeah, I guess that they will have to find solutions like that if someone has a difficult staging. Yeah. Like, let's see what Lorraine will do now that we're talking about staging. Yeah, yeah oh my God. <laughs> do you think they will manage? They said no. I think, I think the answer from Eurovision was like, no, for this screen. So I guess we will have to find something lighter or a different idea. I don't know. I don't know. 
Just... But this was too heavy and too big to store. I I, I heard. Right. I'm not sure. I'm not if you use here. And, it's okay. <laughs> and this guy is a little bit an ESC expert, but also an expert on BBC and their health protocols, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I just no, no, like health and safety. You know about it, but yeah. like we just will not accept things like that happening on stage. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's true. Like. like... <laughs> Uh, there is a big health and safety thing here in the UK. Like so. Italy would do it for sure. They would be like, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and then like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> I'm sorry, all Italians who are watching. But... <laughs> I no. mean, uh, now that you said that, people who, you people who are watching, if you're not ready to listen to an opinion that you don't agree with, Stop watching. Go watch something else because I can. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have tolerance for mean comments anymore. No, I'm gonna know. just block you. Okay. Fair enough. I agree. Enough. Have, have you guys had a uh, weird comments, uh, like mm, aggressive or like did someone come for you or <laughs> this time? If only someone would come for us. Ah uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. No, no, it has been okay. It has been okay. Like some people just don't really agree with the things we say sometimes, but that's all right. And that's really fine. No. It has yeah, been but fine. when when they say it in a constructive way, you know, like in a conversational way, that's fine, of course. Like, please say it and we mm -hmm. can have a conversation. That's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. to be honest, I'm actually wondering if you get these reactions too, but we got, get a lot of, not a lot, but some comments, uh, people say like, Oh, you're talking throughout the video or throughout the the music video, but I'm like, yeah, I I understand. Maybe that's not um, very pleasant for you to hear uh, when listening to the song. But then you should just listen to the song and not watch the reaction video. But exactly, I'm like, I, I like we had that at the especially at the beginning. But I was like, this is a reaction video. I have this to react. <laughs> I, I am that's that's what I have to do here so <laughs> go listen to your to the song by itself but how about you what kind of did, did you have some negative comments oh we've had especially this weekend because I had a very very bad idea to do a small Eurovision in the channel so I called my, my friends and I told them you have two days to listen to all 37 songs and then we did a like zoom all together and yeah. we voted. So we did semi-final one, semi-final two, and finals. I love it. What we heard about our, <laughs> our votes, like oh, what man. they said, people were angry. Seriously? Because we didn't qualify Israel. Okay. Um, so can you imagine what <laughs> happened? <laughs> yeah. And then my best friend dared say that she thought that Lorraine was off key. And you cannot imagine <laughs> what happened. Ooh, I'm getting also some slight anger right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> no, but I, okay, everyone... bye. bye. <laughs> that was it. No, but that's too bad that people react in the kind of way, right? Like, why? You, you, you well, can... yeah, people feel passionate, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's one thing to feel passionate, and one, and one like a, a different thing to just like insult people yeah, because they have sure. a different opinion. You know, like. Let's let's talk about your different opinion. That's fine. I always reply to the comments and I like having conversations with everyone. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Anyway, should we go to the semi-finals? Let's do that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Semi-final one. Do you believe that the, there are certain qualifiers there? Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which ones? Well, of, of course, Sweden. There's no doubt about Sweden, I suppose. Yeah, I guess Finland. so. Finland. Israel, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they will do a great job, I think. Um, uh, and then it will be difficult. Uh, wait, actually, Norway also is a short Of qualifier. course, Norway. Norway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, in my opinion, I don't know if you agree, but there is a slight gap of countries that I think for 90% they will qualify, but it depends on the staging and the way they will sing. Wait, you, you don't think Croatia is a certain, certain qualifier? No, not certain qualifier. Really? Think you so. think so? Okay, I believe, yeah, I think that there is a lot, a big hype around this song. So I think I mean, it's a certain I mean like, qualifier. Okay, imagine you have, uh, or maybe you have it, but let's say imagine you have a thousand euros or pounds or whatever on your bank account and i will say 
you put thousand euro on each um, song that you're certain of, they will qualify. Like for Sweden, I would put my whole bank account. Yeah. Or um, my house or Justin. Uh, or Justin. <laughs> Like, do you own him? <laughs> you no, own him? No, no. Okay. <laughs> but oh, Croatia. Like, but Croatia, I think, no, I, I wouldn't dare to do that. You know what I mean? Okay. You, you would dare? Yeah, if I would. Yeah, well, I think I would do it. You would, do, you would do it, yes. This is. They will qualify. There's no way they will not qualify. And Who we... will then? What do you think about the chances of the Netherlands? Yeah. So in our semi-final, we qualified the Netherlands uh, okay. with my friends when we voted. Uh, but if I have to predict, I think it's questionable. Like, I, I don't think it's sure. Because we have two ballads very similar, mm -hmm. the Netherlands and Switzerland at the same semi-final. Uh, and I don't know why in my head they're similar because like Switzerland is a, a solo and the Netherlands is a duet but I don't know why like as a sound maybe in my head as a non-musician people don't come for me <laughs> for what I just said um, yeah I think they're quite similar so I think it's going to be one of them no. I think what do you think? Switzerland though is more powerful than the Netherlands. I don't think the Netherlands will qualify. Like I don't think so, but it's very sad. But I think Switzerland would make more of a chance than the Netherlands. I think so too. Even though mm -hmm. I think Switzerland is lower than the Netherlands in the yeah. Uh, bookies. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't I never look at them. Like, you know, like I think the odds are very weird and it's another story. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think like the number one, two, three are quite um, like uh, accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then from just a small example, uh, when Samantha Tina with, uh, um, sang in Rotterdam. Yeah. Queen of the... Oh, well, uh, the Moon is Rising. I'm sorry. I always forget the title. Sorry, Samantha. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but she was like pretty high in the uh, in the arts. Mm -hmm. She could qualify, um, but then she ended up being in the last place of the semi final. So yeah, yeah, we will just have to wait for the live performances yeah. for the staging to know is it actually good or not. Yeah, I uh, actually believe that you know I we can see it more in the hype in the internet than in the odds. Yeah. Yeah. I remember mm. 2021 with Maneskin, for example. They they only went at the first place at the odds like the last week. But you could tell at, at the internet that there was a big hype before yeah. that. Anyway, yeah. So what do you think? Ah, oh, you don't think Serbia is a certain qualifier? Uh, for me, Serbia is a qualifier. Yes. But okay. certain, yeah, maybe in this semi-final, I think yes, actually, yes. It's a certain, qual not the same level as Sweden, Finland. And yeah, Norway. they're not going to be first or second. But yeah, but they will qualify, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I cannot see, I cannot not see Serbia qualifying. Like, how? He's not accepting it. I, actually, for me, there's one country in the semi-final. I thought that would be a certain qualifier, but now I'm getting doubts. Could one of you know which country that is? I think I know what you might say. Tell me. Czechia? Yes. I have exactly the same feeling. That's why I know. Yeah, I think they will maybe flop. Yeah, what do you believe, Justin? Do you agree? Well, yeah. Mm, the thing is, I really love that song. So I'm really sad to indeed like have the same feeling that maybe it's not really going to work, which is very tragic i think I, I love it and um yeah but no no i don't think Czechia is really uh, it's gonna be like mm, yeah i think like, yeah we always have surprises at the semi-finals and i think if there is that's the case for that semi-final it's gonna be Czechia. the surprise is the surprising non-qualifier yeah. like and i think a, a surprising qualifier mm -hmm. Might, and they're not in my top 10 uh, for the semi-final. Uh, two countries, 
Latvia. I hope so. I really like Latvia's song. I love your enthusiasm. He's <laughs> And I don't really like that song, but they're very cute. The boys from Malta. No, not uh, not all of them, but the singer is very cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? Um, Maybe. Weird. Do you agree? Um. Yes, he's cute. He, he's cute. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would go. No, I don't believe with you. him. <laughs> Be honest. Uh no no I find him cute I would go on a date with him but he's not like. I just thought about it now that you said it. I didn't no, think okay. I see. before. <laughs> <laughs> but you're quite <laughs> fast about going on a date with him. He changed his mind very quickly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm open to new <laughs> suggestions. Uh, great. So you think that Malta might qualify then? Yeah, because it's also memorable, actually. Yes, it's. It is. I don't like the song that much, but it's memorable and maybe... Oh, I like it. It's nice. I actually think it's a fun song and the saxophone and everything. Like, yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. Like, uh, yeah, to, a song to have a good time. But yeah, I think yeah, it's questionable. Who else is there? Moldova. What do you think about Moldova? Um, mm. I don't really, really like it. To be fair, no. Okay. Do I think it's going to qualify? I'm not sure, to be fair. Mm. No, I don't think it will. Do you think it will? I think it will. But for me, it's not the best song, if you know what I mean. Okay. In this year's contest, for example, I, I can compare this song to... Uh, like the, the tempo of the song to, for example, Slow Mo Channel. Like, we like to dance on this kind of songs. But this song wait, Moldova's song with slow mo. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I was not I was <laughs> let him finish. Let wait, him finish. Okay, okay. I was already scared for this, but I saw your <laughs> your look. But um like these are songs uh when you go clubbing, for example, you mm. want to dance yes. too. Yeah. But then the Moldovan song is like, okay, if there's nothing better, I will listen to this. And Chanel, for example, it was like, yes, oh my God, I want to listen to this over and over again. Yeah. But I cannot listen to it like when I'm in the train or when I'm at home or for, you know, I don't have this urge to listen to that song. But it's okay. Yeah, the semi final, it's yeah, quite fun actually. So why not? Okay, okay, fair. Um, okay, what about Azerbaijan? Um... I I'm think... going to do a close-up to you guys uh, <laughs> for the <laughs> silence. <laughs> Just can looking at the ceiling. I, I, this, this is going to qualify. Um, well, this is not something we um, uh, expected from Azerbaijan, I think. Yeah, yeah it was, right? Uh, it was very unexpected. Yes. Um, like, I've got the, the feeling when there were several pictures of uh, possible uh, representatives of Azerbaijan at, at mm. a certain point, like in these fan groups on Facebook and stuff. And then they said this year we will, um, or, or Azerbaijan will make, um, they will write their own song without foreign producers. Okay. So at that point of time, I was like, okay, it won't be Matahari or, or that kind of vibe, if you know what mm. I mean. But I didn't expect something like this. Like the song is, it's okay, but I, I don't think it's, it, it doesn't fit, um, well, my preference. And I think it's not uh, suitable for this kind of event. I yeah. think it's too boring for that. Yeah, to me, I think that's going to be the problem of the song. It doesn't stand out that much, I think. So in that way, I don't think it will qualify. But I, I think maybe they, they have this... Um, the same vibes as the Beatles, right? They try to do that. Yeah, I think that's what they're like channeling. They so thought channeling. they thought UK. We need to go like yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. And what about you? What's your opinion? Uh, I agree with you. I I think yeah. I don't think it's a standout, especially at this semi-final. So it's going to be very hard for them. I like the song actually. I like this kind of songs. Uh, like kind of the in the ballad, the like when I'm in the right mood, I will listen to it. But yeah, in a competition mm -hmm. uh, setting, it's going to be hard for them. But on the other hand, you never know. Like think of Maro 
from Portugal, like that was a very slow song and people loved it. You know? Yeah. Uh, and I loved it as well back then. So, yeah, but, but yeah, with this one, it's a bit, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it will qualify. Yeah. Anyway, say my final two. Wait, Do wait, wait. Ah, have... oh, sorry. One, one other qualifier for me, I think, mm -hmm. also a, a certain qualifier is Portugal. Yes, Portugal. We didn't talk about Portugal. Because it's so... Uh, unique, it. yes, and it's the Portuguese sound, like Spain has Sp yes. Spanish sound this yeah. year, and I think, uh, yeah, I, I like, I love that about Portugal, they never care about Europe, they're like, this is our song, we are proud mm. of it, and we will send it no matter what hype there is uh, in, in Europe or in the music industry, they do their own stuff, and that's yeah, yeah. beautiful about I agree. them. I really love it, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree, and we need some some tradition, because this year we don't have that much from a lot of countries, like traditional sounds. We have like Portugal, we have Spain, a bit Moldova. Who else? Maybe Norway, you could tell that. Maybe, maybe in any kind of way for, uh, France as well, right? Yeah, France, I think France. France is, is a French song and Italy is an Italian song. That's true, yeah. like a very yeah. Italian song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, as a total, I believe that there is not too much, too many traditional songs. Czechia, maybe also. Who? Czechia. Czechia. Ah, I don't know. Is it traditional? But I don't know the traditions of Czechia. Oh my God. No, my either. Actually, I was like uh, making it broader to the, the, the Slavic traditions or something. Yeah, Slavic yes. tradition in general. Yeah. I, I also don't know if this is specifically Czechia, but I assume that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are many languages there, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's true for sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Semi final two. Certain yes. qualifiers there. Austria. Austria, 100%. Yes. Mm. And, and, and then it's difficult. Yeah. For me, Armenia as well, of course. Um, definitely. I th Ar yeah, Armenia is going to qualify 100%. That is not a doubt, I think. By the way, this is not. Um, my top or something or this is just the the songs or countries i think they will qualify yeah exactly we're talking predictions here we don't yeah. say yeah australia yeah is gonna qualify yeah yes. they have a very good position mm. the last ones with a rock song yeah really yeah mean. true true and it's an interesting song and it combines a lot of different things so yeah i i love australia like i think i'm you, you don't like it, right? I'm not the biggest fan, no. <laughs> I, I think it's so simple in a good way. And it's also so memorizable. And it's, I just love the lyrics also. Oh my God, I love that he says. Yeah, that's cute. They're cute. Yeah, they're very cute. Like, um, oh my God, I, I have a blackout. I <laughs> forgot the lyrics. What does he say? Sorry, Can you pr pr promise me? I promise me uh, uh, that everything is going to be oh, all right. Me it's going to be all right. Yes. Oh my God. Right, yeah. Yes, the experts. <laughs> no, but I, I love these uh, lyrics and it's actually quite uh, repetitive. He sings that uh, this uh, mm -hmm. quite a few times. Yeah. But I like it. It's kind of relaxing and his voice is also good. So, yeah, good for I, I wouldn't call it relaxing, this song. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> for me, it is. <laughs> yeah, especially at the moment where they're like, ah! Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. where he goes, like, fool. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm teasing yeah, you. See me but... listening to the song. Uh, what else we have here? Yeah, so I agree with the three that you said, guys. These three, definitely. But yeah, other than that, I don't know if we have certain qualifiers. You know, everything is up in the yeah. air in the semi final. I, I need Belgium to be a certain qualifier, but I can't say it's a certain qualifier because I uh, know, I know. I mean the same <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> I speak with someone and they're like, nah. and I'm like, why? <laughs> oh we love it. Oh we absolutely love it. Yeah. And I think also Georgia will qualify. Yes. But <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of the song and of um, the why well I said in our reaction video that it it just seems like everything was done so quickly like okay we have to write yeah. her a song and it will be 
the best Eurovision song of Georgia, like they didn't qualify for so long. Okay. And I think yeah. that's why it's not unique for her. Like it's not her song, like Gustav again, for example. Yeah. Uh, Lazara, for example. Mm-hmm. You can feel it's their song. But mm-hmm. this is more of we wrote a Eurovision song, this might do well. We have uh, uh, a, a beautiful girl who uh, might be called Queen. Oh my God. Yeah, we love her. Like, you know, this kind <laughs> of vibe. I love this kind of vibe, but sometimes it's. Um, yeah, they, they create some uh, sometimes this um, bubble. Yeah, yeah. Everyone w- will love her, but I I think there are some artists who have this. You you just see them and you're like, oh my god, this is an artist and this is a queen, for example. Yeah. But not everyone is like that. And for Georgia, I I still have to wait and see what she will do uh, for staging and on life. stage. Yeah. I don't I don't believe it right away. No. Okay. Um, Very interesting. Okay. What about your opinion on Georgia, for example? I like the song. It's not on my top, but I really like it. Like, I think it has an epic vibe. I like your voice, like the tone of your voice. I really like it. I, I'm curious to listen to it live. Mm-hmm. I don't understand a lot of things that she says, though. Maybe yeah. it's because of the tone. I don't know what's happening there. Something with addiction. Uh, but yeah, I actually like it. Uh, is it my favorite? Yeah. No, but uh, yeah. For sure. Also, this is one of the, the better songs Georgia had in the last year. So yes, I uh, yeah. No. I actually really liked last year's song from Georgia. Circus Mircus. Yes, I yeah. loved it. I've, I, I've never I loved it. it. You're literally the first person ever we've heard saying that. I think so. I think I'm the only one. <laughs> and I was watching reaction videos and maybe, maybe they are the reason that we started this channel <laughs> because I'm like, I was like, I was watching reaction videos and no one liked it. And I was like, why? Why? I want to have a channel and say that it's a nice song. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's the best uh, reason actually to start a YouTube channel, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's the origin of your villain story. You uh, you wanted to voice your opinion. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> and this year, I think many new channels came up. Like this year, there are a lot of reactors. There is a, yeah, yeah. true, 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 true. Yeah. Uh, who else do we have here? We have Iceland. What do you think about Iceland? Hmm. I'm going to tell you something. There was originally an Icelandic version of this song. Look it up on, uh-huh. on Spotify. I'm not even kidding. And I really loved that version, but it never made it through. Like It was never really an option to go through uh, like the national selection. So it's like, but the English song, no, it's not working at all. Oh, really? Okay to me so i find it sad i found a missed opportunity yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i'm not sure if it's a qualifier yeah okay i think uh yeah the song i feel i have the feeling that i've heard it before you know mm-hmm. it's not original mm-hmm. but i think Del- delia i think her name is i hope i yep. said it correctly uh i think she's very charming on stage and her energy was great and she was alone without dancers it was just some smoke and some flowers at the back and I was very impressed by her performance so I think that she might she might she will probably yeah. qualify in my opinion mm-hmm. yeah it's um, yeah why not it wouldn't harm me in any way no no, no no <laughs> I, I love you that you're subtle readings to, to to songs like you read them uh lithuania is not a qualifier for you it's a bit the same as iceland for me like it's yeah it's no no it's definitely not a certain qualifier it's it's no not in this semi-final um i think in some other years in some stronger years uh, this wouldn't uh, qualify for sure mm. this year it might qualify and it's a cute song. I will give her that. It's all right. Yeah. But it's just nothing special. It's, it's not like... <laughs> it's it's nothing special. Okay. What okay, about okay. I respect your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, he's not agreeing. What do you think? Well, no, no, you... I'm kidding. I said this as a joke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not in my top 10 uh, as well. Uh, but I, I really like it. I like a lot of songs this year, actually. Uh, but yeah, not all of them can be in the top 10. It's only spots for ten songs there. But we we forgot the yeah. qualifier of semi final two. 
Which one? Poland. No, I'm sorry. Let's not I'm even, sorry, let's blank. not even go there, please. Let's no, this just, was not nice. Uh, like, <laughs> let's just skip this. <laughs> okay, I, I won't say anything. Anymore. I will shut Maybe. my mouth. Can Can I just say something? Because it's kind of crazy. There, there, yeah. is a, there is a person who is watching this channel, and he's from Poland, and his name is Andre. I'm sorry, Andre, about that. But you know, my we love Poland. Yes, yeah. so do we, do. We, we love, love Poland. We love Polish people. But what happened in Blanca? No, like, <laughs> <laughs> let let me say one thing. I think uh, people should not be um, a, a too negative on Blanca. Like, in the, I, I'm just a little bit joking around. And of course, you can have your opinion, but you yeah. should not harm her or put no. harmful comments about her. Exactly. That's, that's be topic. nice. Yes, be nice. But it's just a little bit, yeah. Fake the video clip. I don't like it. It's <laughs> we always laugh when we see the video clip. The yeah. live performance it was bad, but I have to be honest. The song itself it's actually quite funny, fun it's to listen. Catchy. To. It's catchy. It's catchy, yes, and it and we've heard this song before, like in uh, like when you're on the beach, like having a yes. cocktail, and this kind of songs playing around. Okay. Like I can I can see yeah. this song can work in real life as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. But the execution <laughs> was not yeah. the best one. Indeed. No. Yes. Okay. And now I have to. Okay. Before I ask what I want to ask, what about Slovenia? Okay. I have a certain opinion about this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand the vibe of Slovenia. I know some of the artists. <laughs> yeah. I know some of the artists. I I'm okay. When I'm scrolling through my Instagram and I see Slovenia, I also stop and like zooming in. Oh, cute boy. I like them. Yes. But yes. <laughs> but the yeah. song itself, this is what Slovenia sends every year. Like last year, it was pretty much the same. Okay, this this year's entry, it's more or less more ca uh, catchy than last year, for example. Yeah. But why do people love this so much like please tell me also because i'm very curious for me it's just it's an okay song but definitely in my not in my top 10 or 15 mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i don't understand the hype like why people say it's actually pretty high also in the in the scoreboard and people yeah. okay many people who i uh, hear about the song they love it so what, what are your opinions what do you think i i actually like the song at the beginning because the the, the, our first reaction was on the music video and not on the live performance. I didn't really get the correct vibe from it. I was like, yeah, you know. Uh, but when I saw the live performance, I understood the whole vibe and the energy and everything. And I was like, mm, okay, I understand it. And then, like, I think it grew on me. It has grown on me very much. And I, I can see it like, in a movie, like on the background, like at the party scene, like people dancing and this song plays, like I can put it in places. So I, don't, I, I actually like it. I think it's a nice vibe and I think it's going to qualify, definitely. I think yeah. it's, it will also qualify. What do you think about it? Yeah, the thing is, my opinion is that I really kind of don't really feel anything with this song. So I can't be as like negative as you, but I'm also not feeling it as much as you probably do. Yeah. It, it's kind of nothing for me, if that makes sense. Um, error. Error. I, I wanted to, yeah, I understand what you say. It, it's, yeah. it's just a, a general song, but of all, uh, out of all the Slovenian songs who are like this, I think this one is the most catchy one. Yeah, I have to give them that. It's, okay. it's yeah. nice and cute, yeah, yeah. but nothing special. Okay, okay. And then I have a question because I cannot not ask you this question. You are at the Greek channel, so what do you think about Greece's entry? Okay, you're going to start. <laughs> he's, he's laughing so hard already. <laughs> you can uh, start. Um, um, yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, yeah, that's what. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, again, yeah, uh, hold. Again, it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I can't really say more about it to be fair. It's all right to me. Um, I'm kind of feeling it, kind of not. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, to be honest, the first time I listened to it, 
I, I expected something like this already, but uh, the first time I listened to it, I was like, uh, okay, I don't like it. And now I like it a bit more. So um, I think the boy has a great voice for sure. Yeah, yeah, so mm. Yes. And what I also like about him is he's very enthusiast, uh, enthusiastic. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. About uh, singing and representing Greece. So I love. Uh, are you following him on Instagram? That's why you say it. No, I'm not have, following. Have you seen? Have you seen? I'm watching his videos and I'm like, okay. <laughs> he's very I, I, I saw some of his videos and uh, like you, you can see he's a teenager and that's all fine. Yeah, he's a teenager. So I, I like his uh, energy and yeah, I think this song is good for him because he's he seems happy with it. He but wrote I, it. What? He wrote it. He wrote yeah, he it. Wrote, yeah, and indeed. Yeah, because, yeah and you, you can when see. When he was 14. 14. Oh, I when, didn't know that. That's but, impressive, to be fair. When I was 14, I was just playing the themes. I was not writing songs. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing when you were 14? I was doing my homework. It was very good. Yeah. Oh, were you a good student? How were you great? <laughs> no, I was joking. No. Why I... does this sound very naughty? Oh, <laughs> Oh. I will teach you your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's stick to this song. No. Good job, uh, Kosti. Let's yeah. do this song. No, I think it's really impressive. And I'm always kind of, kind of jealous. It's always in Eurovision, these 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 young people that already have such a career and, and can write songs. And then I'm like here with my 25 years old and sitting like, what have I actually achieved in my life? We're judging about them all. That's you are still 25. It's fine. Wait until you go come to 31 that I am. <laughs> You're 31? Yes. You don't have given that. No. You look good. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but I, I want to ask you as a Greek person. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm like wondering right now, you have now a guy, he's, he's from Denmark also, right? I think, he, yeah, his father is from Denmark. His mother yes. is Greek. And then we had Stefania. She was from Greece uh, last year. <laughs> you get the pattern. <laughs> you know, last year she was also from Denmark or Norway. What was it? I think Norway. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Uh, Amanda. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. At, at least some other country. And I'm like, um, why is Greece? No, you can choose wherever you want, of course. But I'm just feeling like they're uh, losing track of their. Um, own vibes yeah. that I yeah. love about Greece and Armenia actually does the same. They have actually artists mostly from Armenia, but also they don't make Armenian like Kele Kele or Jan Jan. Yeah, Kele Kele was one of my favorite songs ever in Eurovision. Mine too. <laughs> but actually, I think Greece and Armenia have the same not problem, but they're doing the same thing. Like the last few years, they're making just yeah modern songs that are yeah, yeah broad, what, acceptable. What do you think of that? Actually, I'm yeah. gonna tell you what. Uh, I believe there is, of course, there's a pattern there. We can see it, especially with Stefania and Amanda. They yeah. are two girls who are Greeks, but they were born and raised in another country. Yeah. Now this case is different because Victor's father is that uh, from is Danish, but Victor, like they live and they have, like he was born and raised in Greece. So yeah, exactly. that is a different kind of situation. Like he's, I can see how they can use his nationality maybe to as an advertisement and get more votes from another country. Maybe I think they are thinking about that. But I also think that Greece, I don't know if they, they want to win right now. No, for sure not. No, I don't. I don't think they play to win anyway. So even that theory about gaining some points from somewhere, I don't know if it works because I don't think they care to win at the moment. Yeah, I see. But what do you think of the of the song? Yeah, uh, I've had a journey with this song. At the beginning, uh, I was like, "It's a nice song. Like I I liked it. I but I don't think it will." pop in the competition setting uh, yeah. that Eurovision is. Uh, but then I also think that for some reason I'm trying not to show how much I like it because I'm Greek and people will tell me, oh, you're Greek, so that's why you say good things about the Greek song. But I think I actually like it more than Cyprus' song. Okay. Okay. I can understand that, yeah. Sorry? I can understand, yeah. 
And the reason I compare the two is because not because it's Greece and Cyprus and we are siblings. It's because um, in my ears, it's, they are similar songs, but Cyprus is, is a bit more generic, in my mm -hmm. opinion. And Greece is a bit more like it has something weird in the music, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. And I also have high hopes because the they changed the um, the director, the staging director this year in Greece, ah, okay. and the one they they have, I think it will be him. His name is Konstantinos Rigos, and he is very creative. He's done very like a lot of physical theater. He's directed dance, uh, like dance and physical theater, and yeah. he's very creative and different. And I think that if he does something very interesting with this song. It might uh, surprise us, actually. I yeah. see. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can. Yeah, for for me too. Like, I'm I'm also very curious to Greece, and I I love uh, Greece as I've never been to Greece, but I love Greece as Eurovision country. So in that way, I will be always um, if the song is okay, of course. Yeah, of course. I, I will be. I will always love to see Greece uh, in the final. Uh, but of course, they have to. He has to sing well, and he has good. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I would actually be quite. Yeah, I would be okay with it if Greece qualifies for sure. Yeah. 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 And I also can't wait to see Armenian states. Like I want to see brunette we like singing live. <laughs> what? We all can't wait. We yeah. are very curious. Yeah, yeah, I'm so curious to see how it's gonna be live. Well, like, like, I don't know. But right I'm so now. Yeah, it's my number one out of all thirty-seven songs. So yeah, I hope she. It's on her. It's on her. If if she can stay there, I think a lot of Armenians will love your reaction on uh, <laughs> on Armenia. But I'm scared actually if uh, she if there won't be a bombastic staging, like if it will be calm, that people will be disappointed. Actually, I think I might be not disappointed, but I will be. Ah, oh, I expected something more as in the video clip or something. Yeah. Very, yeah. Grotesque. I don't think they're gonna disappoint. I think they're gonna do very well. And it's gonna be very pretty. I yeah. think so as well, and I hope so. I really hope so. I have high hopes for this song because in my ears it doesn't sound like um, a song which is written for Eurovision. It sounds oh. like a song which is written for Brunette. Indeed, yeah. she, she likes. She would like to to sing it, uh, and it actually like I can resonate with the lyrics and everything like for me and, you and the good? styling sorry do you want to be good do good and look I, good? yeah i want Just all that trying. and i want the future love <laughs> uh, we all want that Except no i'm kidding i don't want the future lover i'm sending messages here <laughs> <laughs> oh you're funny <laughs> No, but I, I yeah, the, the lyrics are actually quite. But with which part of the lyrics do you um, feel yourself more, more comfortable? Like the, the beginning or the rest? From the beginning, like when she says, "like I, I want you to kiss my face," that's an expression I, I really like. You know, like when you like someone and want to, then you want to kiss their face. You know, and when you want someone to want that for you, yeah, that's yeah. very nice. And then even like. This is simple everyday things. Usually, I don't like very literal re lyrics, and this is too literal. And it's like drink smoothies at near cafes, you know, and stuff like that. But for some reason, it really works for me. Like, it really, really works. You're just a smoothie guy, I think. Yes, I'm very smoothie guy. Not really. I'm not that healthy. I'm more <laughs> of a That's very smoothie, Smoothies are not that healthy, actually, right? They're, they're, they're a little bit sugar in it, no? Yeah. Eat your fruits, people. Eat <laughs> your salad. <laughs> Eat your Eat salad, your indeed. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Do you guys have a top 10? I guess individually. Uh, I'll combine everything. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, yes. 30, out of the 37, do you have a certain top 10? Mine changes. Now, I think I've, I, I know which one is mine. But... Yeah, what about you? Do you have a top 10 or a top 5? Something, Ooh. a top something. A top something. <laughs> it's getting more, diff more difficult. Um, oh, God. Mine is, mine is dynamic, you know? Yes, so, for example, in the beginning of the day, 
I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm listening to uh, Australia, for example, because I need this energy. Okay. And then by the end of the day, I can listen to some other, maybe more um, um, uh, uh, uplifting it. songs oh, like yes. Israel, for example. I'm like, yes, I'm a unicorn. I'm going back. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm a unicorn. House. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And I'm a, and I'm yeah. A... Yeah. So, of course, I have a top 10, but it can change and it changes yeah. every it day. It changes all the time. And now it's very early and everything will change when we go to the rehearsals, you know, and we'll start seeing, you know, what's happening. And we can talk about our, our favorites if you want. Yeah, exactly. Are you, do you want yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Mm, you can go first. Should I just um, do all the countries that I like or? Yes, yes. Let, Let's do that. Because we discussed them. Okay, so... Um, United Kingdom, mm-hmm. it will, okay, I will say this again, but it will depend on staging and vocals later. But for now, of United course, Kingdom. Of course. Yes. I agree with United Kingdom too. Yeah. So, yeah. I Sweden, agree as well. Sweden, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, France. France, 100%. Finland. Yeah. Finland. Definitely. Israel for me. Yes. Yeah, for me too. It's not in my top 10, but uh, I, I understand. I really like it. It's, it's like 12th or something, but yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's actually quite good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Belgium. Yes, Belgium. Yes, yes. So much love for Belgium. I know. <laughs> España. Mi amor. Uh-huh. Spain, Spain, Spain. I put also Serbia in it because it's so unique. Mine as well. It's my number two. It was my number one until Armenia came out, uh, like released their song. Oh, of course. Really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Austria. Austria. Okay. Yes. It's not yes. my, my top yes. 10, but I really enjoy it. Oh, and okay. actually, for for me, uh, one more song that I really like, and that's I've mentioned them before, Australia. Yeah. And yeah. these, so these are the songs I listen uh, the most to. And then sometimes I listen also to uh, Czechia, for example. Of course, also the other songs. But yeah, these yeah, 10, yeah. 11 songs I listen the most to. Okay. I you have something to add? No, I really... Um... I kind of agree with everything you said. Um, I'm thinking, no, I think this is kind of also my top 10. That sounds a little bit boring. I'm sorry, but we we, we, we agree quite a bit, actually. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. So is this uh, uh, about me? So um, we are very close. We have many countries, like similar countries in our top 10. I would take out Australia and Israel, and I would put instead... Um, Germany and Italy. Oh, Germany, I also like, yeah. Germany. yeah. Oh, no, I'm not feeling Germany. <laughs> like, really not He's great. a very calm boy. He likes this. No, Germany, I... Uh, well, I'm happy for Germany that they're finally doing something... Something like different, this. you know? And it's a good addition to the whole bunch of songs yeah. that we have, you know? I like the to have different songs. I think the band itself is quite sympathetic. I love them and their attitude towards the whole thing, but that doesn't make the song good for me at all. Yeah. yeah. I actually liked it more uh, when I, I was reacting to the um, national final songs in Germany. Uh, yes, me too. Exactly the same. Yeah, uh, because I, saw, I watched the music video, but then when I saw the performance, I think the reason that... It's on my top 10, it's in my number 10, and it's not higher because I was a bit disappointed from the the performance. I wanted more. I want more blood and glitter, you know, if you're going to do it. Yeah, we just want more glitter, I think. More glitter, but I am... Sh- and blood! <laughs> blood. Oh, God. But I'm pretty sure in Liverpool, they're going to give us more of that, too. Yeah. I think it was just a poor performance in Germany, but what else can we expect from German television? It is kind of their vibe. And then in Liverpool, okay, I have no idea. it is, I think, going to be spectacular. Yeah. I hope so. I really, really, really hope so. And it's nice. I like it. I really like it. I think I'm, I'm done with my questions. Do you want to add something in this conversation? Do you want to talk about something? Well, maybe one one other thing and i think uh, we already agree and actually we've talked about it maybe a little bit uh, before but um also now with the pre-parties and stuff and i'm hearing uh, also things from uh san marino like 
uh, that people are being so the crowd is being so negative on some artists because some others oh really yeah you didn't hear it about some no no people? i have no idea what happened some... well uh the um the, the the representatives of san marino uh the boy band they I think when they came up on stage, people were shouting Ronella, Ronella, because Ronella, uh, the Albanian representative of last yeah, year. Yeah, she didn't, she was competing yeah, at some She didn't win, she even didn't finish no. uh, in the top 10. And then people are That's... just very toxic. And also with the uh, Polish people, like I understand if it's fucked up, like the selection procedure, it's mm. okay, that's bad. And I, I hate that kind of things. But still, like, let's just be kind to each other and let's yes. just not yeah you can have I, I completely agree with you like the artists are trying their, be their best they're making yeah. an effort for to go to the contest uh if you don't like the song don't listen to it you don't need to send hate to anyone anyone like yeah. why why would you do that like why and if you're so sad in your life go and stay sad at your house don't don't <laughs> I don't give it to other people because it's it's all right if you're a bit disappointed, and that's also part of your vision. That's yeah, exactly yeah. It's you are not going as you want, but like being mean about it is never the, an, an option, I think. And in the end, your vision is also about just having fun. I don't yes. really see why you would take it so seriously and really like be hateful. And you know, sometimes the song I I have it also that you don't like the most. Like you're like, oh, I hate this song. When it's live and you see the staging, I, I'm uh, most of the times like, oh, I kind of like it also because yeah, it's yeah, Eurovision and you see their passion and you're like, yeah. I like their attitudes, for example. Mm -hmm. Like last year, San Marino, I didn't like uh, the song when Me I neither. listened to it, but then I loved the staging. I was like, oh my god, this is just true passion. Yes, I mean, he was riding a bull, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who doesn't like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of the gay population. I suppose. Yeah, of the gay population. Great. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Of course. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Yes. Of course, of course. We are both new channels. We, we should do it, uh, do this, and I'm happy we did this. And thank you, everyone, for watching this. Uh, subscribe to both of our channels. Like uh, this video and all of our videos. Share the video with everyone, your friends, your mom, your grandparents, if they're still alive, your boyfriend, your, your future guinea lover. Pig. Yeah, Sorry? who? Your guinea pig. Yeah. Guinea pig? Guinea, guinea pig. Your hamster. Your hamster. Oh, yeah, hamster. Our, yeah exactly. You're with your hamster, with everyone. And uh, see you very soon at another video. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>